So, as you guys can see, I'm not fishing today. That's why I'm wearing camo. I am going hunting, duck hunting in particular, on a lake. I think, I think we're on a lake, I'm not really sure. It's about 5 a.m. right now. We're, uh, we're loading the boat up. But before that, I'm trying this new box out called Hunter's Hall. You guys see me do Lucky Tackle Box stuff all the time, which is for fishing. This is for hunting. Basically the same thing, monthly subscription. They send you hunting stuff. We've got a hat. We got some beef jerky. Deer call, not gonna work in the duck line today. And some boot dryers in case I fall in the water and my, uh, my waders get wet. So we're gonna take the jerky and we're gonna go hunting. I need to wake up. I'm ready to go. Go back. Watch flare fall in. We cooking now, boys. We got the robo duck. So I've got this flock of flicka, kind of like waka flocka, but this is used to attract ducks. Oh, so it's about 6:20. We've uh, we've got all the decoys out. We we moved the boats a couple times, ripped out the lily pads. How much time? What time shooting time? An hour. We've got an hour. So we're just gonna chill in the boat for about an hour. Eat some beef jerky. Take a nap. Take yeah, definitely take a nap, and then uh, hopefully uh, limit out on some some quackers. Eating some uh, jerky that came in the uh, hunter's haul box. Forgot to mention I have a promo code for that. Promo code Flare five bucks off if you're a hunter and you want to try it. You can use that code. This is my first time trying it. This stuff's this stuff's pretty good. Good, Good dog. dog. What's it taste like, Sadie? Sadie, come here. Come here, Sadie. There you, you go. Know, it, no, that's, that's a Gadwell. Gadwell. Dad. Gadwell. Gadwell. Nice. Yeah. There you go. What's that? What kind of duck is it? Male Gadwell. Male Gadwell. That thing came in beautifully. I'm hoping that GoPro caught that, but you okay. shot that. I shot that, and Scott shot it. We got two boats. I don't know if, you, if I told you guys that. We got two boats. Boat over there. This boat. Six guys. That was, uh, that was beautiful. If you only could have hit that first one. I yeah. think you need more uh, time in the trap range, huh? Yeah, apparently. Why do they call it a pintail? It's got. I don't want to touch it. Last time I pulled the feather out. Yeah, I got a long tail. So you guys can see it's got a Pin. pintail. Look at that. Nice. All right. Two down. The hanger. So far, it's been kind of a slow morning. We're seeing a lot. We're having a tough time getting them to commit because there's just no wind. If there's if there's no wind, it's pretty tough to get them to land. Eleven twenty-six. Shot two birds. He missed. I got one. He missed one. And uh, one. and you what? And then got one. And then eh, I don't know if you shot that oh. one. And then you hit that second one. I hit one. So we got two birds. It wasn't that good, but we're gonna go hunting tomorrow. And so I am going to end day one here. Start up day two. 
That is uh, that is not what you want to see. That's what you call stuck. Like look at look at how deep. You guys can't really tell. Those are like. A foot. You want to go stand down in there? Look, that's like a foot. So we're grabbing grabbing everything, and we got to walk to the blind. It's not that far, but yeah, this isn't what you want to see. We're still walking. It's like walking through quicksand. It's a sinking sink quicksand. Yeah, that's the right word. It's like walking through quicksand. Good God, middle school track didn't train me this for this moment. We just got all the decoys out. We got about 10 minutes till shooting time. I'm freezing because I was sweating earlier and now it's cold. But uh, we're gonna go back to the blind, load the guns, shoot some birds. Over there. Yeah, don't shoot, don't shoot. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Oh, left, 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 left. <laughs> Take him. Another duck in the water. Good dog, Sadie. Alright, so we were all sitting in the blind, and then this blind's like on straps, and then it broke. So obviously I weigh too much. So it broke. So, well, so while while the the other guys were fixing it, I went in the reeds with Austin and, and Brandon, and we went in the reeds and killed two ducks. So that's if you guys are wondering why we're in the reeds and now we're back in the blind. That's that's why. <laughs> Two hours later. It's 11:30, and we didn't see hardly any more birds. We saw some geese, some snows, some ducks, nothing. So we got four, two spoonbills, shovelers, same thing. Yep. Same thing. Two mallards. That's it. That's all we got. Day two of hunting. Now, got to go pick up all them, all them decoys, and then we. I just kind of remember that we got to. F-350 stuck in about two feet of mud, so that's gonna be fun to get pulled out. All right, let's go get a truck unstuck. So we're currently in a cornfield, because it's better than the road. Yep. Look at that road. That's how we do it in Nebraska. Oh, we're good. Hey, oh, there's a tree. <laughs> We don't have any of them sandy beaches, so this is what we do. No, yeah. leave her in there. Oh, that was fun. Dog. It didn't look as bad at 6 a.m., but oh. dang. All right, I'll stand here. You just give it a little gas. <laughs> All right, well, we're uh, going to hook it up. F-150 versus an F-350. This should be fun. Look at that, look how deep that is. How to ruin your trucks 101. Take I'll notes, folks. Take yeah, notes. That's how we do it, boys. You got a little something on your face right there. That's how we, that's how we do it. <laughs> well, folks, that is a wrap for this episode. I'm back at my house, but I didn't really end this video. I, I kind of just kind of left you guys chilling in the cornfield, so I wanted to do like a proper ending. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This was kind of like a 
a two day in one video plus mudding type deal. I don't know. It was just kind of all thrown together and I hope you guys enjoyed it. It wasn't like my last duck hunting video, which my last duck hunting video was actually really good in my opinion. So if you haven't seen that, I'll drop the link down below. Check that out. That's just like a lot of killing. Just a lot of ducks coming in, a lot of shooting, a lot of killing, some geese, a lot of good stuff there. This one was just kind of like okay duck hunting and then obviously like the mudding and I was just kind of joking around during that session but I wanted to include it just for entertainment purposes just to kind of change it up and not make it the same thing but if you guys are enjoying the hunting videos leave a thumbs up I plan to go deer hunting here in two weeks so if you guys are into deer hunting look forward to that I'm gonna do some more duck hunting um, and I'm actually hoping to travel and hunt that's something I've never done before like travel like like actually like travel far like fly places and drive like 10 hours to go duck hunting and all sorts of different stuff. So, so if you are enjoying the hunting videos, leave a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. You can comment what videos you want to see, what type of hunting you want to see, what you like, what you don't like about my hunting videos in particular. I, I'm, I'm really new. I'm not new to hunting. I've been hunting all my life, but I'm new to the filming of hunting. I mean, I've been filming fishing for like four or five years now. So if there's something that I'm including in my videos that you do or do not like, or if there's something that I'm not including that you want to see, let me know uh, because I seriously need your guys' help. I, I'm not really sure exactly what, what you guys want to see. If you guys want to see more music, more B-roll, um, more vlog style type stuff, more like maybe tips like how to clean the birds or how to set up your decoy, stuff like that, you just let me know. That's all I've got. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.